our jokes are simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another TFYLP Microcaster. I'm your host, Sean, and with me today is Lucas, Anna, and Christian. Hello. Hello, everybody. There, there you go, Sean. We have a body snatcher. So, apparently, <laughs> Sean's taking over hosting duties. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, and now we were, we were talking about uh, Transformers Gigawatt. Or gigawatt. Gigawatt. Did did we decide is it gigawatt or gigawatt? It's gigawatt. It's, a, it's jig, gigawatt. Is it like gif or jif kind of that that sort of thing? No, it's only because he's from the movie. <laughs> choose it, pronounce choose it that gif. way in the movie. It's whichever your heart needs it to be, Lucas. There you go. Randall says that uh, we actually need five versions of this so that we can display it in each of the modes. I'll help you with that. There's oh yeah, there is a with But they built a transformer out of a DeLorean? And they did. It's amazing. It is pretty amazing. Actually actually they built a DeLorean out of a Transformer. Well, that's true. But because it's sideswipe. It's sideswipe mostly, kinda. No, I, I, I'm really that. curious when they like had the sideswipe mold. If like, you know, they had this in the back of the mind that they're going to be doing this figure as well, and like engineered it partially Doubt so it. that it, you don't think so, not at all. I guess it's a generic car that happened to work pretty well for this. I was say, yeah, I'm going to agree fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with Anna on that one. There's nothing generic about a DeLorean. Right, the sideswipe right. is generic. There's something generic about sideswipe. He's like the most generic transformer. <laughs> He's not generic. He's not generic. This is a DeLorean, and it's amazing. The coolest part to me, I don't know if you guys can see it, so the license plate says, out of time. Yeah, you. it's not focusing oh. for you there. Well, it says it like it's supposed to. But you know what was odd to me is that the picture on the back of the box that shows like the illustration of him has a different license plate. Is there oh, some sort it. of reason for that? I was confused. I don't know my Back to the Future references. I can't find the box. I lost I it. I don't think that this... So on the back of the box, it says Back to the Future 2. Like Yeah. What? Where? It says Back to the Future 35. No, 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 on the license plate, Sean. Oh. No, it says BK2 foot 2. Yeah. Yes, it says that. That's, that's, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that would and be And it's powered plate. by the flux capacitor. That's probably why, because he um, he turns into the, uh, the uh, hover flying car mode, and then he has the flux capacitor he can stick on top. Yeah, this is the flying car mode. I mean, I'm just and so it, impressed. It tilts the wheels down, and you can put Mr. Fusion up there. Mr. Fusion. I, like, it just amazes me how good of a job that they've done on both this and Nectatron, you know, to to yeah. replicate the car modes. The car is really know. impressive. It really does look See, like says, the things that I've seen in pictures. Time. Yeah, it, it should be out of time, and it is. So, yay. It says it here. Out of time. Mm -hmm. so is, I'm back in the normal mode here, and he comes with the lightning rod from the first movie. You can put that right on there. Oh, I thought that was a fishing. So, I thought that was a fishing pole. Fishing, pole. <laughs> yeah, fishing pole. No. Yeah, for, for those who have seen the rod. movie on culture. Um, Pretty sure it's a fishing pole. Right, he heats up with Hot Rod. They fish together. Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious, Christian. Come on. I'm not going Keep with up, you on Christian. this. No. Just out of the water, does mate. Everybody else seem like he just looks down all the time, like he won't look up at all. He no. doesn't look down, but he doesn't look up either. I mean, you can't, you can't tilt his head straight. back at all. It's just like always... 
I mean, he can kind of go yeah, side to side a bit, but he can't. He can't look up. Yeah. And I was gonna yeah. mention that when we got to the robot mode stuff. It's disappointing, but yeah, vehicle mode's cool. It looks exactly like you should. Yeah, it really. Does. I mean, I'm really glad that they tinted the windows. Like the original renders, they're showing yes. like was clear and it looked like crap. Like the tinted windows look so much better. It really does if, help. If you shine a light at this black blue for the windshield part. You can see the inner workings, but it's not nearly as bad as what the original renders were. Nice, I, don't, I don't think it's even picking up on camera. Maybe a little. So, yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Yeah. And Anna mentioned earlier what she thought was wood detailing when they did the texturized molding on the car parts. That's just how DeLoreans look, which is really cool. Yep, they're so they actually that a, extra a, a nude brushed aluminum is what they're made There you go. Thanks. Okay. Or aluminium. Aluminium. I've always so, preferred that pronunciation because I'm a hipster. So the texture <laughs> is specific to the DeLorean. That's why they did it. They didn't just do it because yeah. they were being fancy this week. Yes. Nope, nope. That's supposed to look like brushed al aluminium. Well, that's actually pretty cool. But they use the technique they never do. You know, you never get textured paint on a Transformer. So that's pretty neat. Yeah. I mean, I think they did a really good job on it, though. I mean, it looks it looks pretty premium overall. Right. And even these little details, like the, the clips that hold these power cables in place, I mean, those are painted white on, you know, black plastic. They didn't need to do that. They could have just let that all black. No one would have said anything. But now that they've painted those clips, they look great. They do. Mm -hmm. Either clips or zip ties or whatever. Some sort of secure mounting there. I can't remember what it is in the movie. No, it's a lot of detail for a small toy. Because, you know, you have yeah. to remember, this is just a deluxe mold. It's not a, it's not a, like, Voyager mold like um, Ectotron was. This is a deluxe mold that it has basically equivalent detail to Ectotron so that it gets the car mode right. So it's pretty cool. Uh, well, it was a little more sure. expensive. It was exactly. well, it was thirty dollars, right? 30, instead of twenty. Yeah. Which, because people's wives watch this sometimes, please do not. <laughs> they were all free. They came yes, as a giveaway because we're on the show and everyone loves us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Quit, lying. Quit lying, Lucas. Jeez. <laughs> so, no, I paid for these. I think we should probably mention the debacle that it took to get these. Because not oh a single one of us has the first edition ones. And I don't think anyone actually knows what that entailed. I hope I don't, that, I don't that know that, Windows. I don't, I hope those have not Windows. come out yet. So, because uh, I know, uh, you know, I think Paul, I think, got, may, may have gotten one, secured one, supposedly. And it still hasn't shipped. Like, I think his, uh -huh. his said it wasn't supposed to come till like... January or something like that. Great. Yeah, they, back in the summer, on the actual anniversary day, Walmart put up a first batch of 1,984 of these. And they were like, 85. special edition. And they were like, okay, go get it at like noon. And then they were like, okay, go get it at one. And then it, it eventually went up at like 527 for all of 40 seconds. And uh, they were all bought up and put on eBay instantly. So this is the general release that came out a couple weeks ago. Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon. All the usual suspects had them. And uh, much easier to get. I actually got yeah, mine from know. GameStop. He came... I did too. I think I got mine a couple... Like It was like a month or so ago. It's been a little bit. Yeah, but you and I both got ours from GameStop. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Christian, yeah, can you showcase the uh, hover mode? I can. And how the flux capacitor pegs on? That's Mr. Fusion. So that's oh, what the butt plug was. Hey. Anna. It's a flux capacitor. And it's not a flux capacitor. Um, it's or not? a butt plug. Yeah, it's it's Mr. Fusion. No, Mr. Fusion. Lucas has a lot of editing. There you go. And Hover mode. So all the wheels. Um, we never edit anything. Now, did yeah, you notice how complex the front wheels do that like you can either just rotate them or click them out and rotate them yeah it's got two stages i think there's mr fusion and uh like like sean said here's one part that rotates like that and then there's the other part that rotates like yeah that. and the, the floppiness it's, goes it's away two if stages. You slide. yeah there's like a slider on it 
Yep. And I, whenever, whenever I first did mine, I thought, oh, this, this is crap, man. It's just, you know, flopping all over the place. And then I slid it out or slid it in, and it locked in. I'm like, that's really cool because yeah, you just gotta it even shows, like, bit, in the movie, you can see, forwards. like, the... You can see, like, the uh, inner Suspense. parts, you know, flexing yeah. down. Yeah. Yep. It's really cool. And it's a neat touch. They didn't have to do that. I mean, that's a bunch of extra retooling that they didn't need to do. They could have just been like, hey, it's the DeLorean. And we would have been like, yay, it's the DeLorean. But to add the hover mode into it, too, it's fantastic. Well, you got the other that, thing is, is the doors. Port at the bottom. The doors work, too. Show the doors off. Yeah. I'm going to pull the, the diffusion uh, off again. There's They're that. Uh, in, so you do have to pull. There's a that hard. port plug. There's that porthole underneath in the bottom, so you can actually, if you have a, a stand, you can just plug them on top to the stand, and it looks like you have nice. Yeah, so the gold wing doors do go wing, which is very cool. There's nothing really inside except his robot yeah. fists, but they do do the thing, which is really neat. They didn't yeah. have to do that either. It could just been like, hey, look, it's a detail. But nope, they go away. They you don't cool. usually get opening doors on a deluxe figure. No. Right. And there's a shape waist kit to make a, a Doc and a Marty in the seat that snaps in. Oh, really? Really? Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, no, I, I just made that, that up. You made that up. <laughs> oh, get her hopes up. Dude, if, if I was able to, to make shape waist stuff, I'd, I would... I would definitely uh do it but i'm not I would need to. einstein too next time you're going to tell a really convincing lie you should tell us ahead of time sean no it'll be april 1st we gotta do you know april 1st type of show and that gotcha. way everybody knows everything's a lie so, yeah, like uh, anna mentioned these do put peg in to be like actual you know vehicle mode doors you gotta leave a little bit of not force you just gotta you know, put them in appropriately do the Autobot squish. Yeah, the Autobot squish. Mm. And they're... Yeah, they're in there now. They're not like alternators doors where they're purely designed <laughs> just to open to look like a model, but they yeah, they do the thing, which is cool. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's like all I know about DeLoreans is their doors are weird. So it's good. And their time machine. Now I know they have special paint. No, they actually don't have paint. Machine. The it they the there it's bare aluminium that's brushed. Yeah. It's, okay. it's a brushed, it's machined and brushed and bare. That's aluminium. why they're all silver. Someone said that earlier too. I'm learning so much. Yep. So cool. That's probably they all are super heavy. <laughs> so, like Anna, are you the only person on the show that like never wanted a DeLorean? I I. Never really wanted a car. I like them because they move. I've never really wanted a specific one. Mm. Okay. How about a horse? I don't like horse horses. Person? They're much larger than me. They're scary. Oh. I learned what to like dogs. What was your What was your dream thing whenever you were just a a wee a wee person? Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't I, want this answer. Oh, there's a video games. I really don't know. Oh, I always want a helicopter. See, there we go. Okay, it's a helicopter. See, Christian, that was a normal answer. That was a, that was a normal answer. I was worried. Oh, you will not be surprised <laughs> to find out it wasn't the first thing that came to my mind, but helicopter works. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. Randall made a good point. We need a Back to the Future train. We have Dude. one. It's the Astro Train. It's the reissue Astro Train. That would be fine. I think Astro that's Train so quite works. Out there. Oh, that'd be so cool. Well, in, in general, like with the dream car thing, I don't know. Like, you saw the movie and you're like, oh, that's really cool. Like, I always wanted the Ectotron or, like, the DeLorean or whatever for the movies. So. I don't know. I always thought that was both. I think I had like a vague inclination that I kind of always thought it would be cool to have a beetle because of Bumblebee. But like, I don't think it ever really manifested as wanting a car because I spent so much of my life not really wanting a car because I didn't want to drive because it sounded like a hassle. It in fact is a hassle, but it's also great. So, so then how are you going to get anywhere if you don't have a car? Just run real fast. 
I was going to say, you know, like if you lived in a major city, you could get away with not having a car, but it's it's a little bit harder in the middle. I know. You live in Kansas. There's nothing there. You have to drive places. It's so true. But it's she's true. not from Kansas originally. It's true. I'm from Missouri, which is so much better for public transit. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. St. Louis has a whole bus system. Oh, man. It Kansas is so City good. does too. <clears throat> Anyway, a train system. Sorry, train system. Yeah, train system. So, so I stood yeah. up my toy to get us back on topic. He was hey, you did fishing. the same thing I did with the fishing. wheels on the legs. Oh, to make see, them I didn't even do that. Yeah, out I, I did that, and I realized it looks stupid, so I didn't. See, do I don't have mine like that. Mine, mine are on the side. Like this. I, I didn't like that like it had a gap, gap they go in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it covers the gap, so and it's kind of neat to have him forward. I mean, you don't usually see that, and he's blocky anyway, so it doesn't really like it doesn't make his legs blocky because they're already blocky. Right. So it just what, burns them. What's the official like transformation? I think the just official is on the side. That, that, that's in the wall. instructions. Hmm. That's one time I did. Like, oh, yeah, according to the back. according to the picture on the box, it's on the side, so I've got it right here. I, I like I put mine forward too because the gap. because you still got a big gap. I it's better than just having the gap. I don't know. I liked it like the Anna has it. It's fun. It's okay. People can be wrong sometimes. They can, <laughs> and you are. It's alright. <laughs> that backfired. And you can have the chest a couple different ways as well. So yeah, you, you could, could not flip out the new Hickmadoodle. It, it's called the flux capacitor. The flux capacitor. I'm going to see it run again. I'm going to be it's like, called the oh, Mr. Fusion. This one's obviously yeah. the butt plug, and you guys are going to be like, no, that's the flux oh, capacitor. Oh, Anna, stop. That's <laughs> the first thing. That was no, that's the thing that I put on top of the gun, which is really a Mr. Fusion. I thought you were supposed to put it on the back of the gun, so it, like, Look at the front or top. Well, here's the here's the thing is, is that if you put it on the back of the gun, you can't hold it, like... Like this, like with your arm bent. So, like, that's the reason I put it at the top of the gun, is so that that way it could have full range of motion. It's got a slot what? to attach it on the top of the gun, so it's fine. Plus, like, you can see it, it looks better. Like back. So, it, it's more like it stands out better. It does stand out better. Oh, but it looks look at normal. that. It's, it is the Mr. Fusion, and you can read it. Yep, it's actually said. It, there's actually words underneath. You can oh, wow. Read can you actually read that? Yep. Yes. My eyes cannot read that. I can't read what's underneath Mr. Fusion, but I can read Mr. Fusion. Yeah, Sean, can you read that? I can't oh, read that. I need a magnifying, magnifying glass. Oh, it's so close. No, you, you definitely need magnification to get, to get that one. But yeah, it's definitely going to be legible, but it's going to be tiny. Yeah, I think it's legible, probably. I don't know. To me, that's just a blob. But I kind of realized it's letters. But he's neat. He's got uh, you know cool sunglasses from the eighties. He's all blocky, which at first really didn't appeal to me at all. I was like, wait a like minute, that? I'm stopping but you at sunglasses. What's up? Aren't those goggles? Those are Doc's they're goggles. goggles. Those are Doc's goggles. You're right. I know they're goggles, even. You're right. Okay, you can proceed now. I don't remember what that's I was. cute. <laughs> Christian's right. He's got a good head. It's very fun. He's a good head. He's got googly eyes because he has goggles. Yeah, he's actually wrong. He's got little cat ears. Yeah, right? Batman. Like, that's after seeing this head, you're like, what? Can we get a deluxe wrong? Take right. this head, you're throw already, it on. already got one. That, that is true. I don't need a wrong, so... Yeah, it could be a little runny. A little what? A little runny. Like an egg. Does oh, it remind I... you of McAdam as well? Oh, so Randall was saying. Yeah. Uh, a little, he I does guess. have a little... Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I can see it. 
So yeah, his, <coughs> che- his chest, you can either have the flux capacitor or you can flip it and just have it be the regular chest, right? Yeah, it was you, hard for me to flip yeah. my chest, so I really don't want to flip it a lot. Like, mine was you very sticky. To. It only goes one way. It did not want to go any way. Yeah, I'm nearer to mine, but I forced it. But I think it's pretty cool that they actually put the dates on his mm-hmm. chest. So and you can time. have his Google select screen. I think that's fun. Because, um, you know, they didn't have so, to print a tiny thing like that. They didn't have to make it all translucent and fun. They mm-hmm. could have let that off, but it's on there. Again, to help you justify paying 10 extra dollars for a box. Well, it's also <laughs> lit. If you put the batteries behind the compartment, you can uh, turn it on as then so it's back. Yeah, you can technically do that. Yeah, you can do that, but it, his head is blocked by the tab there. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's pretty bad looking. And no, this toy is not actually electronic. Yeah, don't let Sean just make up stuff again. I just, yeah. You know, no, that one totally I knew horrible. wasn't true because there isn't room for batteries. I did actually play with this toy. <laughs> the one thing that kind of bums me out, and I know that, like, it's just a limitation of the fact of the way he transforms, but, like, the details they put on the back of the car with all the wires and colors are really cool. Like, they really stand out. They look neat. They're colorful. They're fun. But they're completely hidden in robot mode. You know, they're in the back. And then the front of his legs are completely plain. There's no paint or details on them. I wish Sideswipe would have to transform differently for this to happen. But I wish those colorful parts could be in front in robot mode so he could have cool, colorful leg details. Like, you know, that's a very minor nitpack. You can can flip around like that. Yeah, you can turn around (laughs) like that. It looks great. (laughs) Yeah, it's awesome. But you're right. I mean, he's got the flux capacitor sculpted on his yeah. knees here. And if those were colored in, I, mean, I think that'd be really cool. Really cool. And it, if you just open the leg panels, you can get a, a bend. It's an easy fix, right? Like, if you if you have gunner markers laying around, it's not hard to take the details in a Transformers figure and just go over them with paint markers. It's pretty easy to do, but do you want to deface your figures? Usually I don't. Tiny turbo changers all to face, but this guy probably not. I am willing to bet that Reaper labels will come with a set for this. They did for Ectotron and put a bunch of the extra details in, so I bet. I'm expecting that soon. I don't feel like there's a ton of extra details they would need to put on this guy though. Just a few. Just a few. <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt to break up the gray in robot mode. Because he is a very gray figure. The chest does help a lot, but he is very gray. And for transformation, whenever he put his knees up, this part actually tucks in, which is really kind of a cool touch. Yeah, I can see. So. I do have a gripe about his head. We were talking about that a little bit earlier, in that it is articulated, it's, it rotates fine, and it's on a ball joint, but it can't look up at all. It can look Point. down a teeny, teeny bit, and it can kind of like can't to the side like that but it can't the reason up, which is he, this yeah i looked at that and the reason is like if you turn his head to the side he can go up and down but right behind his head there's a piece of plastic that's sticking yep. up in an angle that probably shouldn't be but it is and that's what's keeping his head from doing anything but look down but man is that a good head i just yeah it's really like nice. the not tilting back is a bummer the fact that, you know, if he tilts it down, he runs into his own chest pretty quick. That's a bummer, too. But the face sculpt is just really cool. Although I will say that the fact that, you know, his chest is wider. Does anybody have their side swipe right by them? Yes. Um, I've got a side swipe right here. Because I just want you to show how, how much wider this guy is. Wider? Side swipe. Yeah. Side yeah, is pretty wide. Look at his shoulder. More square. I mean, I guess, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I guess it's square. just a square. Yep. Where side swipe doesn't wide. taper, uh, uh, yeah. Gigawatt just does. <clears throat> but just. Yeah. And I think it's shoulder to shoulder at the top, they're equal, but the hood shape's way different. Right. Yep. And that's just like, it points out how small the head is, which is a little bit of a bummer from a composition direction, but it's fine. Like, it's not bad. It's just, like, it's just a difference. 
and it, it feels like it has the 80s aesthetic like that the science where it comes from feels like it has a more modern aesthetic this it does. feels like it comes from that time and it does yeah, yeah. I think it's part of the charm, ultimately. But, like, he doesn't... It's nice, because he really is <clears throat> essentially just sideswipe with the doors added to him. You know, there's really not a whole lot changed on the figure, but well, side they, by side, they look very different, which is cool. Why, why is your roof off well, there, Sean? They're not supposed to do that? Oh. Um... One thing is, is they added like that, a little is extra. Better, Anna? Is this better? Yes, that's so much better. I like right, it. We went on a I'm diet. Gonna the, I'm gonna fix the head issue and right now. He died. Died. They, died. They added like a little extra bit so that like it had this like little part of the wheel well. So yeah. like that's an extra thing that Sideswipe doesn't have either. I know you guys can't see it, but that tab that's uh, impeding his head looking up, if you guys take that one screw out and look, it's actually there's a stress mark across that tab because it should be sitting flat, but instead it's sitting upward at an angle. Sean has started dissembling his figure. So I'm going to fix that so we can actually look down. I might do that tonight if it if it was successful. Oh yeah, it's su super easy. Just one one screw lift of his hood, and one screw in the middle of his chest. That's not bad. But now let's see if I can. The yeah. okay. The reason that tabs there is to keep the head from sliding back. But why is it all busted upward? It's so weird. Now they heat it up. I guess I don't know. That's one slight bummer that I have on mine is that, like, it's probably not going to show up on camera, but on this side of his chest here, oh, there's a pretty big scratch on the paint. And since, you know, that detailing is all paint, you can definitely see it. It showed up worse in car mode. Like, it's it's less noticeable in robot mode, but in car mode, it was just like, I'm looking at a car. Oh, there's a big scratch on the hood. Bummer. Yeah, mine has a scratch across <laughs> the windshield right here. Yeah, it's always just, it's like, you know you're going to get little scratches and impurities and problems on your figures, especially when you order them and you don't buy them in the store, so you can't compare paint jobs for six hours, like I've done on some yeah. things in the past. Um, but it's a bummer still, you know, when it's in a visible place. Like, if it was just, like, lower on the door or somewhere else you're never going to look, but be right in, on the chest slash um, hood, uh, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Again, not a big deal. Yeah. You know, it doesn't make sense to just throw my figure out the window or call Target and be like, fix this. But Well, it's a little harder to exchange it to when it's an exclusive. Like, yeah, I know some people had off, some issues with uh, with some of their Amazon exclusives, and, like, Amazon didn't have any more. So it's like, oh, what do you do? Yeah, so. which is a bummer. I was going to mention the, the box also, that they kind of continued the G1 style box um, for this one as well. And I think that it it looks really nice. It does. It's a cool box. Very cool box. I got really excited because he has a bio on back. And when I first looked at the bio from a distance, you probably noticed my eyes are not super great. I thought that it was a long, detailed bio, but it's really just a very short bio in five different languages, uh, which is cool for accessibility and i like it it's good for inclusion but i was hoping that it would be a whole lot of words i get a cool little story about him well, i mean it's a lot of words it's just in out. different languages it's true that's true yeah yeah and i just pick up the comic you'll be fine and i still need to read the ghost formers i haven't read that yet I, it was in one of those comic packs on humble bundles so i have it are you still reading book club from my account Yes, yes, I am. Uh, Ghost Formers is on there too. Oh, cool! I agree. Ghost Formers <laughs> on there. Convenient. And then Comics Holidays listening, and they're like, "Well, well, <laughs> let's put a stop to that." You villains. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it back for future one. Uh, tomorrow, new comic day. It's already All right. Just, I will grab the new stuff. Now. Is the Back to now. the Future? What issue are they on? I think I missed the first one. I think they're on two now. Hmm. I haven't been so, keeping yeah. up. 
I'm going to be the first one to give my opinion on this figure because, as you may have figured out, as we've been throwing out context clues all session, that I honestly have never seen any Back to the Future movies. So I really have no connection to the DeLorean as a time machine. And, you know, of course, I don't have a connection to this character because he wasn't a thing until recently. But, you know, I don't really have, like, DeLorean nostalgia or anything. But it's an iconic car. You know, of course I know what it looks like. Of course I know what it is. Of course, you know, flipping through channels, I've seen little bits of the movie before. And I've seen the car. It really does look like it in car mode, which is really cool for me. Like, I think that's really exciting that it looks like it. It's just like, you know, I'm not... I didn't see Ghostbusters until I was, like, 30. So I'm not, like, super excited by the Ecto-1 either. However, I know what it's supposed to look like, and I know it's a cool thing, so I really appreciate that, you know, I have a Transformer that looks just like the Ecto-1. However, you know, I opened this thing, and my Ecto-1 I haven't opened, because I, I I definitely don't like the way Ectotron looks in robot mode. Like, I, I don't, I'm sorry, Christian, I'm so sorry. I don't like him. Um, so I didn't bother opening him. This one, I was hoping that the side swipeness would make me want to leave him in robot mode, but I'll probably still put him back in car mode for display just to have an iconic car. Because it's not that I don't like the robot mode. I think I just like the car mode better, which is an indication that I don't love the robot mode, but I still think it's good. It's just, you know, I think Sideswipe rocked this body better, but, you know, it's no big deal. Like, I think it's all cool. I love the paint detail. I love that texture. I think the the colors and all the details are really cool, but I think it serves the car better than the robot, other than the cool chest. The chest, I will definitely give it. The chest and the head, I will definitely give it props for being really neat and unique. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, it's a lot of gray in robot mode. If it wasn't for the chest, I think that that's probably the coolest part of it. Um, but, yeah, the car, I, I mean, they just did an outstanding job with the car. And so I, I think that that's probably the better mold. Or better I've mode. got up and down. You nice. definitely you do work it up and down. Um, did you shave that was, tab off or did you just move it? No, I uh, risk breaking it because I figure that even if it, you know, if that's the tab that holds the head from sliding backward, it's only going to slide backward a smidge and you can just slide it back forward. But I didn't break it. I just bent it back down and created another stress mark. But if you warmed it up and, you know... Um, bent it that way and then cooled it really quickly then it should stay in place <laughs> use like a blow dryer to get that part nice and warm and then as I... soon as you get it in place hold it in place and cool it with cold water it's a cool idea sean i like it yeah. but mine moves now and i just uh bent it sit down the way it's supposed to be so i'm definitely doing that after the show yep and if you break it don't blame me <laughs> send, send it in complaints Disclaimer. Sean something Catherine mentioned in the chat is the, the term mold fatigue and it does really apply to this guy because the side swipe mold has been used quite a bit so like if you're really tired of playing with that side switch transformation it could apply to this I know it's unique I know it's remolding guys I totally understand all of that but if you're tired of that side swipe's transformation and the way he plays, you're going to get him again. And that I mean, be a bummer for some I, I'm going to say mold fatigue. Like, if you want to talk about when the red alert keep... hits Walmart and Netflix wave two, then I I'll go with mold. the mold fatigue there. I have that one. But I still need now, deep cover. Or I would take an official clamp fatigue. down. Yeah, we're going to get deep cover, customer. aren't we? Yes. He's Has been listed been in two places. He's yeah, not announced, but he's listed as Netflix Wave 3 and as a Selects. So he'll be Talking one about of those mold two fatigue. things. Back to mold fatigue. Is she, fatigue. Does she mean, like, from the factory? Like, they're using the mold so much it's starting no, to be No, I think she just meant art. She's talking about, mold, I think. like, people, like, just getting bored with the mold. I don't know. There's a delay to the chat, so she might be, like, Then we will wait. Her. I mean, I think overall this is probably a better mold than the one that the Ectotron is, is built on, you know? Yeah, because like, it's newer. Right, right. I'm going to disagree with that, but that's okay. You really like that mold? 
It's a good mole, the base mole. I like it. Yeah, the ba- using it for Ectotron was a really great move, and it works really well there. I think it works well for Ectotron. I don't necessarily know that it works as much like... It's showing its age for the combiner. Yeah. You know, I think that we talked about that the other day. I think that... It, it probably should have had ankle tilt built into it when they remolded it, just because we were already in the age of ankle tilt. But, you know, it's not a big deal. I still I don't think that would have turned me around on it. I think I just did it like the way that guy looked, which is, again, fine. I think I like the new version coming a little bit better because he has his goggles down. I think I like the face better with his goggles down. You know, I'd really like to buy that one, but it doesn't need to be $20 more expensive to include yeah. one more ghost. Okay, Sorry. so Catherine meant what I thought she meant. Bored with the sideswipe mold in general. Too many okay, uses. I got you. Yeah. Which is fine, you know. That's I think that's a thing. You know, for a lot of people this is gonna feel just like sideswipe. I think the blockiness of the chest makes him a different figure for me. But at the same time, the fact that I like my figure or I like my characters more um spindly and skinny and flexible means that I just like the sideswipe better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk yeah. about mold fatigue, I, I feel like we're going to, like, hit it this year with, like, a, the non, like, Beast Wars uh, figures, you know, like Ultra Magnus, for example, or Megatron that, that came out in Earthrise and, and some of those. Megatron's going to be trying the, um, the Bumblebee mold. The Bumblebee and Cliffchamber mold is probably going to be exhausting after a while. I have a feeling we're going to keep getting that thing. Yeah, I'm curious when they release it as, like, the the Huffer Gears and all that kind of stuff. Like, what, um, you know, like, are they going to use kind of a similar transformation or, you know, what are they going to do? So We've seen Huffer and he's a new mold. Yeah, are you implying that the other minibots are going to use Bumblebee's mold? No, I'm, just, I'm saying the transformation, not the mold. Like, we haven't seen... Because the Huffer does appear to have a shield again. He does appear to have a a parts-forming shield. Yeah. So there could be some similarities to transformation between them. There shouldn't be, really, the way Huffer's usually designed. But it could. I mean, we haven't done Bug Bite yet. Um, I don't know if we we are or not, but... uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess we could. But, like, I actually, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, do I have mold fatigue when, um, what's the other guy that we did? Um, Hubcap. Hubcap. Because that guy was really boring. But then, Hubcap like, was bug, really boring. Bug bites actually really fun, so. You know. Yeah, I think there are ways to make a mold not boring in a second edition. Like, definitely the remold for Bumblebee to turn it from whatever kind of car Cliff Jumper is to a beetle is really cool. You know, that's enough to make, to justify having two versions of it. The, um, the little orange face guy, he's, he's not as great. It just didn't work as well. I just don't understand it. I, I think we'll be arguing about that one. Like not arguing, but I think we'll be talking about that one forever. I just don't understand why that figure does not excite me. I just look at it. I'm like, you couldn't figure it out. And I sit here and I play with Cliff Jumper like like weekly. I pick up Cliff Jumper and play with them because he's such a great toy. But then Hubcap just sits there. As a spoiler, I mean, Lucas and I opened Bug Bite last week and we've been messing with him a lot. He's a lot more fun than Hubcap was for some reason. Yeah. Same mold, different head mold, but other than that, yeah. it's the same figure. I think we should Weird. say Bug Bite for Bumblebee. I think we should do him when we, when we do Bumblebee. If we can find a Bumblebee. If we can right. Bumblebee. Whenever Bumblebee comes, eventually. Should do Some Bug Bite have with, with the Hubcap. We, we did Hubcap, Hubcap already. We cried about the whole thing. He's very boring. Like, why are we oh. talking about this? It's just yellow and it's dumb. That's fine. I don't know. I thought it was good. I don't see how bug bite is different. Like, there's nothing wrong with them other than he just. I don't know. It's I can't explain point. it, Sean. Yeah. It's, just, it's one of those things. Yeah, we all, all have three to get it on. He's just kind of boring. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's such a bummer because it was like I love that mold. I thought that like having a character that I've never owned a hubcap, so I was like, cool, I'll own a hubcap. He's got a different head. He's fun. It'll be fine. It was like, ugh, <laughs> such a bummer. Oh, well, here's the glyph and tap out. We'll get him. Uh, please. 
Oh, man. Randall is mentioning that they should have done the G2 Red Chrome for Abcap. Oh, I would love if they did red sure. chrome versions of the Blades of Chopper and all that. Oh, gosh, that would be great. I would take it. I'd buy So, I mean... Do a multi-pack like they did there. with the Golden Lagoon stuff. Do beach combers, sea spray, and hubcap. In their creamy colors. That would be awesome. So, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I would say this is definitely a recommend for me... Um, if you don't already have the mold, and I think the mold's different enough, like, I mean, if you like Back to the Future, if you like the collaborations and whatnot, like, I definitely would get this. I think it's yep, different it's, enough, too. Like, if you specifically were tired too. of this mold, just like if you were specifically, like, really tired of the hot spot slash onslaught mold, you probably would have got Ectotron and been like, oh, this again? I remember how this thing transforms and pooped on it. But, you know... I know, Ectotron I know. Ectotron transforms a lot that. differently. Yeah, Ectotron's pretty different too. So like you can you can tell I it's never based on it, so I can't say it. But it's it's yeah. pretty different. This is yeah. very the same. But if, but if you were already somehow fatigued on Hotspot by the time Onslaught came out, then you would probably skip them because they're closer. Yeah. Even though they're entirely different vehicles. <laughs> Are they? I hope so. <laughs> Sean is like, Sean uh, is like, Sean I left. used this for 44 minutes, and then it's over. So, <laughs> Sean, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry, we lost. Uh, I don't I, I was... know. Um, uh, you say you say if you're on the if you're getting tired of sideswipe and then maybe not get this guy. Um, I don't think this figure is a, uh, it's not a uh, sit back and think about a purchase. Like, am I tired of the mold? It's, it's, you have a transforming back to the future car that we've all been waiting for since forever for some people. And, and even people who don't collect transformers you're buying. There's people who don't collect mainline transformers and only third parties are buying this you know every every everybody who's ever wanted a, a transforming back to the future car is getting this they, and they don't, i don't think i don't think they care if it's a side swipe mold they're just there, happy it there transforms have, right. there have been two transformers deloreans before they're the same character they were released in what? two different lines who was it who was it? Transforming DeLoreans? Yep, there's there's two of them. One is it's, it, that's going to be a deep cut. One is more recent. Mm. Go for it. Pop quiz me. It is the MicroMaster Swindler from the Sports Car Patrol. Oh jeez. Mm. See here we go. <laughs> here and we. And they, they released him in uh, Siege as well. So he's I bet his doors don't pop. No, they don't. He's MicroMaster, but he is a DeLorean. <laughs> So you can have a uh, gigawatt That's hangout fine. swindler if you want to. Yeah, but He's I'm talking friend. about the Back to the Future car. This is the first time we've got a transforming first Back to the Future car. Back to the yes. Future DeLorean. All with the extra add-ons and stuff. Yes, that's true. I'll be honest. Uh, is, like... is, is, your, is your video not working? Who's? 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 Christians. Christians. Is this is just up for me. Okay, because I can't see him. It's just black. I, I figured he pushed his glasses up and said, actually. No. And then talking about the other DeLoreans. <laughs> no, um, I was just going to say that, like, the primary reason I got this is, you know, one, because I thought it would still be a fun toy, which I'm right about. But two, because I just really want to support these crossovers. Like, I really do like this concept of making crossovers that are iconic vehicles. Instead of just being like, let's make a Transformer that's also Steam from this one movie. No, it's ugly and goofy looking. I like the, the iconic vehicles and the Transformers. It's really fun. I hope they continue doing it. So I want to promote it, even though I did it by Maverick. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't get Maverick either. So. Oh, but I got he doesn't Maverick. look good at all. Ne- uh, next up, we've got Maverick, and then we have X Expanse. Uh, who would you guys like yeah. to see after that? Pick pick one each. We'll do a round robin on it. Oh goodness, I wasn't ready for this, Heidi. Uh, I, I would say Batmobile. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to happen, but 
Get in. I still want an official version of that Mystery Machine Ironhide. Ooh. Ooh. I want the turtle van, the transforming turtle yeah, van. Yeah, turtle van. That too. too. Right, if Anna took Mystery Machine, I will take uh, the Jurassic Park Jeeps. Okay. Um, Jason actually did one of those just recently. I'm sure he did. Yep. Uh, That's probably why it's on my it brain. <laughs> it's out of the MP, right? Yeah, it's out, it's uh, out of the, uh, the MP Hound. Um, look at Get Right Robot, and uh, you'll, you can see it. It's pretty cool. It has a grant with it, even. Yeah, yeah, little little it's grant fun. dude. I don't, I don't know, you know, where that figure came from. If it was from a mainline or if he, you know, custom something into it, but it looks pretty good. Uh, Jared, I think we can all agree that we want these to keep going, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. They're very fun. Yeah. And I don't so... mind them diverging into the '90s if they're going to do that after X Men. That's fine. Going back and picking up Ninja Turtles would be nice, but I have a feeling that would be a rights nightmare. Oh, James, James says Airwolf. That would be fun. Airwolf would be the cool. Knight Rider car, that would be fun. Like, I'm just trying to think of stuff. Like, Randall bad. said G General Lee. Um, <laughs> Lots of things. I don't know if, like, they're going to do that anymore. I don't think they could do General Lee. They got close. They had a so. mini con in 2006 in the Classics line that was close. But I don't yeah. think they could actually do that. Yeah. Good thought. So, but we could definitely do Mystery Machine. I would like that. Mystery Machine Ironhide would be. Okay. It's just so tacky with that the That would be cool. I it. love it. That's a good one. I would do it. Yeah. I would absolutely buy that. Yeah. Even if it was from the current mold, like even though you know that mold's a little like, it's not exactly like you don't pick it up and go, "Wow, this is so cool." But if they made it look like a better van, just, you know, that premium extra $10 stuff, and then made it tacky, it'd be great. I'd love it. So, um, tomorrow night, do you know if we're doing an Oof My Wallet, Anna? The, the hearing is suggest yes. Okay. I have heard rumors. It's potential... <laughs> It, it may potentially be on, so if, if it is, I, I guess they'll post a preview. If I show up this time, there will probably be one. Yeah, I think that that's <laughs> what it is. So. Last time it was my fault. I had a family thing come up. So. Um, and then uh, last I night we talked about, uh, Anna was on the show as well. Uh, so we talked about collecting rules. So that was a lot of fun. So check that out. Um, if you haven't already, it should be on the podcast feed and on YouTube as well. So and then of course also cut the tape on Fridays or Saturdays, uh, just depending on it. And then book club is coming up Sunday night. That is more than meets the eye 12 and 13. Um, so they, uh, will talk about that on the, uh, discord channel, um, at eight 30 central, nine 30 Eastern. So. It'll be fun. You should come join us if you haven't ever done book club. It's very casual and fun. I'm there. I'm there. Good that you're about there. Bad Choose your nightmares. Choose your nightmares. Okay, Robot Anna. <clears throat> oh, boom. That was funny because the thing I said in Robot Anna time was choose your nightmares. So it's I, probably I terrifying. I know which nightmare I'm choosing tonight. So. Well, Sean, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, thanks to everyone in the chat, Randall, James, uh, Catherine. Uh, did I miss anyone? Did I miss somebody? Maybe not. Anyway. All right, well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Peace out.